गोयचे पर्यटन खंयच्या दिशेत चल्ला कोलवा सेरनाबाटी दर्यावेळेर इतली बेकायदेशीर बांदकामां झाल्यात ती पळयली जाल्यार हांगासर बरे पर्यटन कशे येतले असो प्रश्न पडटा कोलवा आणि सेरनाबाटी दर्यावेळेर सी आर झेड कायदो फाट्यार मारून कितलीशीच बांदकामां जाल्यात त्या खेरीज दर्या वेळे वयली हॉटेलां आणि शेका मधले हळशीकावणे उदक डायरेक्ट दर्यात सोडिल्ल्यान हांगासर घाणी पडल्यात दर्यावेळो निवळ दवरपाचे कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट भायल्यांक दिल्ले तांकां गोयचे कांयच पडून गेल्ले ना हेच कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट गोयकारांक दिल्ले जाल्यार बरे जावपाचे ह्या विशीं समाज वावुरपी जुडीत आल्मेदा आणि सबिना मार्टिन्स किरे म्हणटा ते पळयात द एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन ऍक्ट अँड कोस्टल रेग्युलेशन झोन नाईन्टीन नाईन्टी वन अँड टू now there is a 2019 one which has been challenged before the courts these came into existence with the inter- with the intention to protect the crz and to keep it protected from the sea entering into our villages but today because of the illegalities on the beaches most of the structures which are along the beach are releasing sewage are dumping garbage everywhere their tourism department says that they have kept an agency but yesterday when we went to kolwa and sednabati we found a lot of garbage dumped in all the corners and we found places where they were burning the garbage also so is this agency which is brought from outside the state really doing its job who is auditing these these agencies then we found that the people who were working at the at the toilet blocks etc were drinking water and are eating things and just dumping their their plastic when i questioned them they why you are not putting it in a in a uh, container or, and keeping it separate they said nahi koi bhi aake uthayega baad mein this is the kind of mentality because we are appointing people who do not love this state my point to the government is tourism minister you better get our local people to look after this you don't need people to come agencies to come from outside the state and look after tourism in goa well today tourism is not happening for the people either for the locals or for the tourists visiting the place uh, uh, you know our um, beaches are eco sensitive zones and they have to be protected first now under the coastal zone uh, management plan there has to be a show a uh, protection uh, management uh, that has to be done that is not done and so how can you even think of uh, allowing uh, structures on that land most of the structures that are coming up are illegal then uh, then when the high court strikes it down then the government comes with an ordinance to protect these illegal structures and this is what is happening the, uh, there is so much corruption happening in the government that for money there are lots of compromises are done people's health the environment and even our lives see the uh, as one activist uh, judith was telling us that uh, so many dunes sand dunes are not shown on the plan and when they are not shown on the plan what happened was so many hotels have come up over there if sand dunes are cut the sea will come inward and all the villages which are uh, uh, along the coast will get uh, inundated secondly salinity will come into our well waters so is the government protecting the people first you protect the people of the state then only we can invite the tourists